Did Cody Rhodes just drop a huge spoiler on the WrestleMania 41 main event next year in Las Vegas? Let's find out because Cody went on the Pat McAfee show on Wednesday and he talked about quite a few things. Uh, he even teased uh, something interesting for Bad Blood, talking about how a video package at Bad Blood could give us a little bit more detail as to what the crown jewel title match could be for Cody. Uh, and we'll find out what that means once we get there. But Cody went into talking about WrestleMania 41. Before I tell you exactly what I think about Cody's uh, quotes, reminder, I am on Twitter now. You can follow me at WrestleBlake, uh, sharing a lot more stuff on there that I don't get to share in video form here on YouTube. So uh, be sure to follow me there at WrestleBlake. Check out the link below, and you can uh, click on that to give me a follow. But let's talk about what Cody had to say, because Cody does go on the Pat McAfee show, and here's what he said that I think teases at several interesting possibilities as for the WrestleMania 41 main event. So Cody was talking about, uh, again, it kind of started with his conversation about Bad Blood, and specifically, he stated that there's going to be a video package, vignette, something like that, that's going to play into the show that will make it clear that there are big title implications for, ground, for Crown Jewel, meaning, in my opinion, that there's going to be something in this tag team match with Cody and Roman Reigns teaming up to take on Solo Sikoa and Jacob Fatu that's going to determine the championship match at Crown Jewel. I've mentioned in my Bad Blood predictions, which you can check out here on the channel, that I also did today um, what I think that actually uh, is going to be in terms of the title match potentially at that show. But if we go into what Cody talked about with WrestleMania 41, here's what he said specifically. Quote, in addition to that, WrestleMania 41, I am looking for to do what I've done three times now and enter the main event, but I think it will be something that perhaps is bigger than anyone anticipated, end quote. So that's what Cody had to say. He is teasing this as though we think we know what WrestleMania 41 could be, right? We've debated this for months now. Everyone has been talking about the two biggest possibilities. It's either Cody Rhodes versus The Rock or it's Roman Reigns versus The Rock. Those would seemingly be your two most likely options to main event night two in Las Vegas next year at WrestleMania 41. But if Cody knows that, which surely Cody understands that people have been talking for a while now about these two big match possibilities, could he be hinting at another combination for the WrestleMania 41 night two main event? It sounds like it. And if you are going to bring those same three people into the discussion, well, we know there's unfinished business between all three, right? Cody Rhodes and The Rock. It ended when The Rock left last time after WrestleMania 40, defeated. They shake hands. Rock hands him, you know, this mysterious object, and we leave it at that. They go into it a little bit more when they finally released the WrestleMania 40 behind the curtain documentary, which also ended and pointed you in the direction that it's going to be Cody Rhodes versus The Rock at WrestleMania 41. But we also know that Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns have unfinished business too, even though that's one of the match possibilities that seems unlikely because they have main evented the last two WrestleManias and having a third in that same spot potentially seems like, you know, maybe a little bit too much for people. And as I said, I think we'll probably get to that match maybe before we get to WrestleMania 41 and not after. So if we take that one out of the mix, well, that leaves the big one, right? Roman Reigns versus The Rock, the match that is years in the making. And these two, we know, are going to have unfinished business because of the fact that Roman lost the championship at WrestleMania 40. That led to Solo Sokoa taking over the bloodline. And now Roman is back for revenge, although we know that before we even got to WrestleMania 40, The Rock was already giving hints that he was not on the same page as Roman. He was giving some of those hints that he and Solo were more on the same page than anyone thought. And so will it eventually be revealed that The Rock is the person pulling the strings uh, or The Rock is the person who's going to decide to pull the strings for this version of the bloodline that's going to oppose the original version, which we fully expect at some point, maybe not as soon as we thought, Roman Reigns to get the band back together for the original bloodline. But all of that to say, if Cody is hyping this up as a more anticipated match, perhaps, than people expected. Well, in my opinion, that means one thing. That means you're likely looking at a possibility that it could be Cody Rhodes versus The Rock versus Roman Reigns in a triple threat match, potentially at WrestleMania 41. Is that what Cody's teasing here? 
That's one of the things I think we can look into this and wonder, is that an actual possibility? I will tell you up front, I don't like that as much as I like the idea of doing Rock versus Roman Reigns. That's the match that I made my predictions after WrestleMania 40, the week after. I said, I still think that's the one WWE wants to do. They wanted to do it this past year. Ultimately, they couldn't because the fans would not let them not do Cody versus Roman Reigns, and they made the right choice. But if you're going to ever do the Rock versus Roman Reigns, next year is the time to do it because if you wait another year, the Rock's a year older. Roman Reigns is another year removed from being a full-time superstar in WWE, right? So I just think the longer you push it off, the more maybe um, it's not as much of what it could be if you go ahead and do it now. And again, that's all going to depend on whether we do have these bloodline, you know, factions clashing with each other by the time we get there six months from now. So a lot of questions that we determine on that. But if you do look at this and wonder if Cody is hinting at a triple threat match, is it the worst idea in the world? It would not be my first choice. But if I'm looking at it from WWE's standpoint, and I'm trying to figure out why they would do this, well, there's a couple reasons that pop into my mind. For one, it doesn't force The Rock to be in a singles match, which The Rock was in a match this past year, right? And it was in a tag team match where they could protect him a bit. He didn't have to go out there and be the center of attention for 40 minutes, right? He could kind of go off and do his own thing with either, you know, Seth Rollins or Cody Rhodes in a tag team setting. It wasn't The Rock just in the middle of the ring having to go, go, go for 30 plus minutes or whatever. So this would accomplish that, where if you're doing a triple threat, The Rock's not going to have to do everything for the entire match. You could leave a lot of that to Cody and Roman Reigns, um, and you would still have the star power of adding in The Rock. It would also, perhaps, add a little bit more unpredictability as to who is going to win the match. Now, you could say, well, there's no chance Cody's walking out with a championship, right? Uh, it's going to either be Reigns or The Rock. But I think if you do the singles matches, if you do Cody versus The Rock, I do think, you know, that there's a little bit more unpredictability to that than meets the eye. I don't think it's a given that Cody would beat The Rock. Um, I do think there is a part of me who believes that The Rock could actually win this championship at some point, um, you know, and then maybe they go with that storyline, uh, even though, I, you know, hey, there's a lot of logistical things that you have to look at uh, if The Rock is the champion and when does he actually defend it and those kind of things. Again, I can understand the criticism uh, for that idea. But if you do Rock versus Roman then I think it's pretty clear that Roman Reigns is going to beat The Rock. I don't think you can have The Rock beat Roman Reigns. He's going to put over Roman, and it's pretty much as simple as that. But if you do the triple threat match, you have Cody, The Rock, and Reigns all in there, it makes it a little bit more unpredictable as to how it will unfold. Even if you feel like there is a strong favorite in that match, you've got these three combustible elements all in the same <laughs> ring, and I think you can at least add a little more intrigue uh, by doing it that way. And again, the third point here, I think, is that it is a story of unfinished business, right? Um, it was Cody's story last year. It was about finishing the story for him. But really, there's so much still left to be done between these three men. And they all have their reasons for wanting to basically destroy the other two people. Um, Cody has his reasons for not wanting to be the person that hands over the title to Roman Reigns or The Rock. Roman has many reasons to want to take out The Rock if we get to that feud between the two and want to ultimately get his revenge on Cody Rhodes for taking his title at WrestleMania 40 and maybe, in turn, causing Roman to lose everything, right? That was sort of the start of the downfall for Roman Reigns. The Rock, meanwhile, has issues with both of these guys, one more clear than others. We clearly publicly see the issues that he has with Cody Rhodes. We've seen that on the week-to-week -week WWE television by the time we get to WrestleMania 41, you would think we're going to have a pretty clear idea that The Rock also has issues with Roman Reigns because it was already hinted at in the first go-around. So there are reasons, I think, to believe that this is one of the options that they are weighing, even though I think it makes a lot more sense um, to go the route of doing the singles match. And look, there's one other possibility if you want to take this a step for, for, you know, further and go with the hype that Cody is building here for this. Could you do one match on one night and one match on another? Now, again, I don't know if that's going to be everybody's favorite thing to have these three people take up those two main event slots for night one and night two, just as they did this past year, which would also, of course, prevent anyone else from getting that main event match on night one. But could you do that to where it is Cody versus Reigns, potentially? Cody Reigns part three on night one. The winner then goes on to face The Rock, 
on night two because you could see full on final boss. I'm the final boss, right? Like I'm the person who has to be on night two because you have to get through me to ultimately, you know, be the the true champion. And so could you have those two face off? The winner takes on the rock on night two. That's a possibility, I suppose. But I do think I'm seeing a lot of people run with what Cody has said here and talk about this triple threat idea. And while I don't think it is the worst idea in the world for the reasons that I pointed out, and I can see why WWE could find it valuable, I still think the best option is to go with the one-on-one match. And I think The Rock and Roman is the one that has the biggest appeal if we are headed towards the Bloodline versus Bloodline showdown, which we think we've been headed towards for a while now. We just haven't got there yet. Maybe at Bad Blood, we get a little more step in that direction. Uh, And maybe after Crown Jewel, after Survivor Series, we know exactly where we're headed for WrestleMania 41. But count me in as someone who is very interested now after what Cody had to say in breaking down all the possibilities for what we could get for Cody Rhodes in the main event of WrestleMania 41. And could it also be as simple as Cody and Randy Orton doing their thing? And maybe that's the thing he thinks is bigger than anyone anticipated. I don't know about that. It's a huge feud. It would be a great personal feud. And you guys know, I actually predicted that after WrestleMania 40. I said, do Roman and Rock, do Cody and Orton. I think you get two huge matches, night one, night two, boom, you've got everything you need. But is that as big as Rock versus Roman? Is it as big as Cody versus Rock? Is it as big as the triple threat between the three? It's not. And so I think from their standpoint, WWE, the global phenomenon that it is, having those three elements, Cody, Rock, Reigns, involved somehow in the main event is what they're aiming towards. And now we wait to see which combination it will be main eventing WrestleMania 41 in Las Vegas. But you guys let me know what you think about these comments from Cody. Is he just hyping it up? Is he just getting us more excited? Or is there actually something to it? Do you think there is the possibility we get the triple threat match? Do we get two different singles matches? Like I said, maybe the little mini tournament with Cody and Reigns. The winner goes on to face The Rock on night two. What do you like as the best option? Uh, Let me know your thoughts and always appreciate you guys watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Again, follow me on Twitter at Russell Blake for more thoughts on this. I'm sure we'll be discussing it on there, Uh, but let me know your thoughts on the WrestleMania 41 main event.